Hello everybody, it's Diane and Zane, some Jack Boy here, bringing you guys the first episode to my hybrid weapons guide for Borderlands 1. Yes, finally it is here. Technically this is actually the second episode, because I've already done a guide on the Ajax Ogre, which is a hybrid as well. But whatevs. Um, so yeah, you guys have been really requesting the series, and it's finally here. Um, trust me, I've been working on this series actually for a while. Not necessarily the series, but this this one episode for a while. I've been actually trying to get this freaking hybrid, and it's, ah, it's been killing me. But if I finally got it, and that hybrid is the one you're seeing on screen, the Bone Shredder. Um, it's actually a hybrid between the Bone Shredder and the TD or Savior Legendary SMG. Um, and that causes it to have ammo regeneration, as you can see on the card itself. Self, it says plus 23 ammo regeneration. So, um, anyway, let's get right into how to get this bad boy, shall we? Alrighty, dude. So to get this bad boy, what you want to do is you want to fast travel on over to Firestone, and the boss you gotta go kill that drops this thing is Bonehead. Now, Bonehead, um, you actually fight him during the mission Bonehead's Theft, which is actually one of the main missions, one of the earlier main missions, actually. And Bonehead is located right there on the map. Now, if you guys don't know what uh, uh, hybrids are, basically they're uniques that spawn with legendary accessories. And in this case, like I said, it's the Bone Shredder that spawns with a um, a uh, TD or Savior's body, I think. Um, now, just to let you guys know, this thing took me a, a really long time to actually finally get. It took me about a hundred tries. I, I don't know. I'm just kind of guesstimating. But it felt like it took like a hundred tries, okay? So, just to let you know, just to kind of warn you, um, this thing might take you a long time to get. It reminds me of the Ajax Ogre, actually. Luckily, this thing's a lot easier to farm, because Bonehead is like right next to you. It doesn't take you that long to get to him. Because with the Ajax Ogre, you have to like drive all the way to Ajax, and it gets really annoying. But this one is actually kind of fun to farm. Now, as you can see, I have the Destroyer, and it's, it's literally destroying everything. This thing's actually really beast, guys. And it just tore Bonehead up. Now, um, not all uniques can spawn with a hybrid part, but this one can. Now, as you can see, the bottom right-hand corner, this thing is regenerating ammo. And guys, when I saw that, oh my gosh, I was freaking out. Now, you might be thinking, you're probably thinking that I have some sort of class mod. It's causing me to regenerate ammo. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> um, I actually don't have a class mod on. I'll show you in a second here. Um, that... All my skills, you know, they, they don't affect any of my ammo regeneration. I actually took my class mod off. Okay, so I don't have any class mods on. I'm not faking this, okay, guys? And it actually says on the weapon card itself, plus 23 ammo regeneration. So, yeah, this thing is a true hybrid weapon, guys. And that means I'm a true slab. So, anyway, <laughs> now moving on to the gameplay. Now really quick, before anything, once again I'm just showing you guys I do not have a class mod on that affects ammo regeneration. All the ammo regeneration is from the gun itself. Okay, so with that out of the way, my opinion about this gun, guys, this thing is, is truly awesome. Really a good all-around SMG. Now if you have a roll like mine with a um, you know really good uh, ammo regeneration build, then this thing isn't as good as it could be, and by that I mean the ammo regeneration part of it is kind of pointless, but okay. Here's the here's the really good part about this gun is that if you have a Lilith, this thing would tear shiz up. It's actually already tearing shiz up here. Like I said, it's a good all around SMG. It's actually good for any class, but it's I'm not recommending you know farming this thing on on Roland because of the fact that he's already got ammo regeneration you know class mods and and, and you know you can definitely tweak him to make him just so he never runs out of ammo like mine does. So, I recommend trying to get this thing on Lowe's just because she's already good with SMG. She would tear stuff up, like, so much more faster than I am here. And I'm already tearing stuff up, like I said, really fast. So, yeah, I def definitely recommend trying to get this thing. If you have a Lilith, you know, doesn't matter what level. If you freaking just have a Lilith, then I recommend trying to get this thing. Especially one, like, low level. Just just starting the game out. You know, if you're, if you're fighting Bone Shredder, um... You know, for the first time, or you're just you're just going through the quest, I recommend actually you know farming them just a little bit, not not too much, 
but just to kind of test in your luck, because this thing would actually probably take you really far. I mean, the normal version actually can take you pretty far, but this thing, the hybrid version, would take you really far. But like I said, it's actually really rare, and I think it would actually take a long time to get on a low-level character, obviously, because the chances are a bit lower, I think, especially on playthrough 1. So, um, if you guys want, you can try to farm it. Um, I definitely recommend trying to farm it on Lilith. Not Roland, if you already have like a build like this, or at least a class mod. Anything that really affects ammo generation, I don't recommend you know, getting this thing on rolling, but, um, any other class will do, especially, like I said, Lilith, Lilith, okay, guys, imagine this, once I get my Lilith up there, once she's max level, I'm definitely gonna try farming for this thing, um, because it's just, it's just awesome, it's just so awesome, guys, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe for more episodes, because I know the other hybrids are gonna take a long time to farm for as well, um, just because they're hybrids, and I, this one already took a long time, so I'm guessing the other ones are going to take longer, maybe? Because, I mean, this one's actually probably the easiest to farm for, because you're just, you're just so close to the boss that you're farming, you know, he's just right next to you, you just gotta go around the corner and bam, he's there, but the other ones are going to take a lot longer, in my opinion. Um, Ajax was definitely the worst, I think that's def, Ajax Ogre is definitely the rarest one. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'm out of here. Peace! Thank <laughs> you.